Yes, but what of Cuckoo? Who is a court singer in the land of birds? And has got a scolding from King Tweety Fruity and Mr. Cranium for not taking care of her voice. How dare he! So he thinks he can insult Cuckoo Cool and get away? I will show him who I am. Everyone knows who you are. You are Cuckoo Cool, the greatest singer in the world. That I am. But it is time to make that stuffed shirt. Mr. Cranium realized that. I have to make plans. You can't change that everything will always change. But we'll remember this as it is today in time. We both know you won't be mine. Cat, got your tongue? Is foul. The magic potion from the same song company of China are coming soon. Awaiting patent from Foul Drug Administration. That's it. That's what I need. <sighs> Stella, you have to stop eating everything in sight. You'll burst like a balloon one day. Now go away and don't come back till you find Mr. Jack Dawson and Magpie. I will see who will win against me. Whatever makes you happy, it just depends on you. So think a little bigger and dream what you could do. You could fly a ship. Chiquita, you sing like the angel. No singer in the world can hold a candle to you. The world awaits you. You are ready for the contest. But I only sing because I like to sing. A contest is not my dream. I'm too shy. No, 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 no. Do not say that, my child. That is an insult to the talent that God has given you. It is your duty to sing for his glory and let the world listen and honor. Talent, which hides away from the sun of audience applause and appreciation, withers and dies. So go and take your place in the sun, Chiquita. I will have to ask Mama. In another part of the jungle, the practice session of the core band is in full swing. We are the girls of old who are together and now. We sing and we sing and we sing and we sing the world. You can't do that.
The jungle and folks remove their earplugs, cotton wool, and other stuff they used to block their ears. No wonder the singing was not bothering them. Hey, Monty, we have a confession to make. Melody here has been learning to sing with Senor Julio here. Monty, this is abominable. She cannot sing. As if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Monsieur, let me get to the bottom of the matter. Senora, let me introduce myself. I am Senor Julio, trained and established singer, now retired from public life. I know him. He used to be very famous and then, at the height of his fame, decided to retire when he went blind due to some strange reason. Senor Julio, uh, but what is my Melody doing with you? She cannot sing. Melody can not only sing, but she is a rare talent too. Believe me, I am a trained singer too. And she is going to take part in the contest. No matter what some most of Bully Blast have to say about it. Please be quiet, Banana Drama. It's not your decision to make. I'm sorry if I have offended you, madam, but when Melody came to me crying, I could not stop myself from lending a helping hand. Now, it is your decision whether Melody should be in the contest or not. Yes, 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 yes. Please, Margie, please, 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 Margie, please, 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 I think, Marjorie, it is in the child's interest that she too participates. It will give her confidence, which she is sadly lacking. Here, here, Professor Joe doing something right for a change, Critter. Marge, you got to listen to the Professor. Ah, uh, but must. We must first have to take permission from mo, 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 most full and last greatest singer in the world. <laughs> please, please, don't say no. Please, please. You are the greatest. Please, you are the please, greatest. please. Don't say no. <laughs> yes, my friend. Your permission will clear the air, so to speak, and will put the little bird on the path to success. She will bring glory to Jungle Land. He can never speak straight, but his heart is in the right place, as you can see. <laughs> we, I mean, yes. I am not one to stand in the way of La Pawasu, I mean the little bird success. But I have a condition too. She may have to take a few lessons with me. I cannot undo everything that has been taught, but I can certainly pull her back from the wrong direction and put her in the same league as her brothers here. <laughs> I agree with you and applaud your decision.
Uh, you have done a good job, Anna, Senor Julio, and I insist she is your protege. I only intend to tweak a few wrong nuts. I fully comprehend. Now, I must take your leave. You are the best, Senor Julio. And don't worry. I have a special pair of small earplugs for Melody which will take care of this problem. La, 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 la. <laughs> Adios. Adios, Senor Julio. Muchas gracias, Senor Julio. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Adios. Gracias. Muchas gracias. call you by phone, by mail, in person, but no, there was always an answering service and no one would let us in. We were so happy to see Stella when she came to call us and I said to Mr. Jack Dawson here that it is unlikely that Cuckoo would forget us. She's just busy, what with being such a famous star and all. And you know what he said? He said that I need you to do something for me. <gasps> oh, how did you guess? That's exactly what he said. I need you to help me to get the magic potion Fair is Foul from the Sing Song Company of China. <gasps> you want us to go to China? <laughs> Don't be silly, you twit. The head officers of the company is here. You just have to steal it from there. <laughs> Mr. Jack Dawson here has a natural flair for that kind of work. You have always been very good at taking advantage of someone's weakness, Cuckoo. But that is beside the point. We need money. Not only for our services, but also for incidentals and an expense account. We have many expenses, and Magpie here has a family to support. <gasps> oh yes, Cuckoo! By God's grace, I have seven children. Would you like to know their names? They are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... Oh, I can guess the other three names. Now stop your foolish chattering, you twit, and off with you. Of course I'll pay you and well. Go now. Stella, show these two out. And yes, Mr. Jack Dawson, kindly put back the silver you picked up and put in your pocket in your way in. Force of habit, Cuckoo, as you well know. Just my luck to be surrounded by a foolish chattering magpie and a thieving rascal. <laughs> ah, but they have the uses. Cuckoo, when is dinner? I'm starving. But I'm still trying to figure out what is your use and why do I tolerate you, tub of lard? I'm your friend, Cuckoo. That remains to be seen. Well, I'm off to bed, Tubby. Got to watch my flicker. You fend for
for yourself. Back to Jungle and in Mother Crow's Nest. Melody is helping her brothers and sister and hacking their musical instruments. Hey, Melody! What do you want from us when we win? Of course, you know we're gonna share our prize with you. <laughs> yes, Melody. Don't bother about Monsieur Bullbrass. He's a pompous old ass. Me far? You are going too far as usual. As mom says, there's no need to talk about your teacher like that. Got to respect the dude, bro. Anyway, tell us, Melody, what do you want? And what if Melody wins? Why do you take it for granted that only you will win? Melody can win too. <laughs> Well, let's not get Melody's hopes up too much. I'm sure she will win one day, but she still has much to learn. Uh, Monsieur Bullbrass has promised to give extra coaching to Melody. Huh? That's interesting. I'm sure Banana Drama would be most interested. Marge, actually everyone wanted to talk to you about something important. That is why they sent me to call you. I'll be out in a jiffy. You go ahead. Bye kids. Have a good one. <laughs> a tasty bite for everyone. They have been such a support. I wonder what they want. Kids, I'll be back soon. Be good. Mom, can I be bad just for a change? <laughs> Don't go too far, me far. <laughs> That's what you wanted to hear, didn't you? It's kind of cool, bro. I think I have the coolest feathers in the world. <laughs> On a grassy knoll by a stream, Professor Ali, Peekaboo, Mimi Tang, Peter Parrot, Banana Drama, Flo Jones. Wait for Margie. I've brought some cookies for everyone. Freshly baked this morning. Got to watch my figure, but I can never resist your delicious cookies, Marge. You are such a joy, Marge. And that's why we have all collected here to make a proposal to you. I do hope you'll say yes. Here, here. <laughs> Yes, Madame Marjorie Hatchery, we are happy with your decision to enter your children in the contest and would be overjoyed if they were to win. And it is our greatest wish to be there for you to support you in your endeavors. Professor Dozeball Furball Critter, can you speak in simple English? Uh, Marge here is wondering what you are talking about. <coughs> It is simple English, you ignorant whippersnapper. And it is Professor Martin Odious Trousy Squeaky Squawky Piebaldy Jackass Funny Fuzzball Critter PhD Professor Emeritus. All right, all right, let's not stray from the topic. Marge, in a nutshell, what Professor... Uh, uh, Dodo doing fuzzy woozy food was trying to say that we would all like to come with you to the land of birds and cheer your kids, if you don't mind. Yes, Marge. It will be a nice vacation for all of us. Yes. The last time I took a vacation when I went back home to China 200 years back. Yeah. That's because you were too cheap to spend on a ticket and decided to walk. So about 199 years were spent in traveling. Well, there were no planes back then. Okay, let's not get diverted from the topic again. So Marge, what do you think of the idea? <coughs> <coughs> Uh, why are you crying? Uh, we won't come if 
you don't want us? <laughs> don't be silly, banana drama. These are tears of joy. I'm so happy I have such good friends. Oh, Margie, you're so sweet. That's why we all love you. Don't we all love her, guys? Yay! 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 Three cheers for Margie! Hip hip! Hurrah! 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 Don't be silly, banana drama! <laughs> This is so exciting! to get a fitting here and your crunching is driving me crazy. Moreover, where have those numbskulls Jack Dawson and Magpie disappeared? They were supposed to get the magic potion fair is foul for my throat and they are not here yet and the contest in a week's time? Coming! A uh, couple of vagabonds to see you, madam. They say they have completed your errand, uh, Mr. Jack Dawson and Mrs. Madpie. Yes, Freezer, let them in. And, uh, you know what, you know what to do? <laughs> that will be all, Freezer. <laughs> precautions. One, to stop her chattering which never fails to give me a headache and two, to stop Mr. Nimblefingers here right in his track. <laughs> if you will hand us our payment, we will be on our way. Not so fast, my friend. Let us see the goods first. Oh, yes, we do have a minor technical problem here. 
Never mind. Stella here will be happy to help. Yes, give it to me, Stella. This will make me the undisputed queen of the music world. If you could pay us, we will be on our way. Yes, of course. I'm sure you're not going to do anything for free. Stella! Stella, you greedy bird! Stop eating and give them their money! Cuckoo! I was eating fruits! That's healthy and all you said! Oh, for beak's sake! If you eat only the fruit and not with the chocolates and ice creams, now give them the money and release them, I say! Victory is mine. This is Sam Spread Eagle here from room 1001. I haven't traveled all the way to have my ears blasted to the moon. If you don't stop this infernal racket right away, I'm gonna call the noise police. I will look into the matter, sir. You better. Or we have ways to deal with all kinds of weapons of mass disruption. I don't like invasion of my privacy. I mean privacy. Got it? Very well, sir. We will do our best to pour oil over troubled waters. Good. You better. Darn foreigners. Don't know how to treat their guests. Gotta teach them everything. <laughs> Uh, Flo, Joe and I are off for some shopping. Uh, there is an early bird sale going on at Tweet Trade Center. You go ahead. Uh, is Monsieur Bullbras going to? After last night, when the manager came to him to stop practicing in the hotel because the guests were getting disturbed, he wants to see if he can practice in the hall. He also wants to check out the Aku Aku <laughs> Acoustics, which is the way in which the sound bounces off the walls and comes to our ears. <laughs> oh, I hope he does not get bounced off from there as he got bounced off from here. <laughs> Banana drama. Promise you will see that he does not get offended in any way. Anything for you, Margie. Come, Melody. Let's be off. Bye, Mom. Bye, Melody. Enjoy. Poor child. I hope she will not be too disappointed if she doesn't win the contest.
a most enchanting experience. If the empty hall is so wonderful, I wonder what it will be like when it is full of birds and bees from all over the world. Yes, it will be something to write home about. <coughs> yes, they will get to know in about 100 years by the time you write the letter, mail it and then remember you forgot to put the stamp. <laughs> Didn't your mother tell you not to go too far? Me far? Why are we wasting time on silly talk when there is important work at end? Oh. I would like to check the acoustics of this place so that I am sure the sound reaches the farthest corner of this all. With his noise, it's going to reach the four corners of the world. Hope we don't get thrown out of this place. Better stop him before it's too late. Melody, why don't you go on stage and try out your voice? Yes, Melody. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Practice yes, for yes. You. Come on, Go Melody. On. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Melody, my child. Talent that is hidden away from the world is like a plant without sun. It becomes dunted. So be like the sunflower and bask in the sunlight of audience approval and sing for glory, the glory of God. Spirit of God in the clear running water, flowing to greatness. Trees on the hill, Spirit of God in the finger of morning, fill the earth, bring it to birth and blow where you will. Blow, blow, blow till I be but breath of the Spirit. Blowing in me Down in the meadows The willows are moaning oh. Sheep in the pasture land Cannot lie still Spirit of God Creation is groaning Bravo Melody Bravo 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 Bravo, Bravo. Bravo. Something will have to be done about you. Toot, fruit tweet toot, toot, sweet toot, 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 all amen, if you please. King, tweety fruity to you, just like this yummy sweet fruit. It seems to me you have forgotten last time's tummy exile.
dare you remind me of that awful time when three bottles of the bitterest medicine was not enough to kill the pain? It's not your place, Mr. Cranium. Uh, uh, forgive me, sire. I did not mean to distress you. Uh, but Cuckoo Cool, your court singer is here with a request. What does she want? You know how I hate to be disturbed when I'm busy with my sweeties. Which means nothing will ever get done for when is he not busy with his sweeties, as he calls them. Sire, she will take a minute of your time. All right, all right. Send her in, but not more than a minute. Your Highness, it is so gracious of you to give me an audience. Oh, I am deeply honored. Get to the point. I don't have all the time in the world to listen to your drivel. It is my humble request, sire, if we should entertain the contestants at my mansion to welcome them. An excellent idea. Why? So she can figure out the competition and find ways to beat or bribe them into submission? Oh, oh no, 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 sire. That is not my intention at all. I know you too well, Cuckoo Cool, but I don't care. Just don't waste my time with your conniving tactics. Do what you want to. Now go. I have important matters to attend to, like this huge mound of sweeties. <laughs> His fondness for sweets is going to get him in such big trouble that all the medicines of the world will not be enough to cure him. Ice anyone? Ice anyone? Ice anyone? A cold drink for miss. Melody. Cold rings are bad for your throat. Frieza, 
These hot and spicy snacks should do the trick. And don't forget to have a glass of extra cold ice water with you. And place an ice cream cup on the table nearby. I'm going to draw her away from her brothers. They always look out for her. Hmm. It will be done, Madame Cuckoo. Ah, hang on a second, Freezer. Oh, one more thing. Tell Stella to draw the bath water and fill it with extra chilly water. Throw in a few ice cubes too. Very well, madam. Come, my dear. I want to ask you how you thought of becoming a singer. Is your mother a singer too? amazing i felt the same way i just had to sing we are so much like each other and you're so unlike your brothers oh but they're very sweet and i love them oh i'm sure you do just that i'm sure they can't hold a candle to you. How can you say that? <laughs> oh, Frieza, my good man. What tasty bites. Melody, you must try some. Oh, let me. Uh, open your mouth, child. Here, eat this. Uh, it'll cool off your mouth. Come, my child, we'll clean you up and you'll be as good as new. Gracious Melody, what made you have so much cold stuff? Didn't your brother stop you? We couldn't see her anywhere. One minute, she is with Madam Cuckoo Cool, and next minute, whoosh, vanished. Who goes to a party and has a bath? That too, with cold water. Yes, child. I understand the ice cream fell on you, but wasn't there any hot water? And how can she serve such spicy hot stuff to kids? I'm going to have a word with her. Yes, Melody, tell us. We need to get to the bottom of this business. A very, very nasty business. Mind you, there is something wrong here. I can feel it in my tail. That's a far-fetched tale. Oh, don't start you two now. Melody, speak up.
Thank you, Batman. You're a good man, Friday. Wasn't he the one who was Robinson Crusoe's helper when he was marooned alone in an island? The same. And you are my ray of light when I am alone in the sea of darkness. Isn't it strange that a blind bat is helping a blind bird? Strange are the ways of the Lord, but I'm sure there is a hidden meaning in all of this. Only we cannot see it at present. How will we see it if we don't have eyes? To see, you don't need eyes. You need a heart. And you have a very big heart. Yes, but it is concealed in this very ugly body which does not know whether it is a bird or a beast. <laughs> you will find out one day. But for the time being, be of good cheer. Your shining soul will be an example for all of creation one day. You know, my heart says Melody is in some big problem. She needs me. Why don't you start backing? We are going on a journey. <coughs> Man, the contest in two days and Melody in this condition. Coughing up a storm and her throat completely jammed. She can't speak a word. How is she going to sing? There, there. beautiful tail feathers as a handkerchief or a mop or a feather duster or whatever comes to your mind. Sorry, a force of habit, uh, but it is my feeling that all beauty should have a purpose. It's not enough just to look good. <laughs> You're one strange dude, man, but I like you. But what are we going to do? I'm going bananas just thinking about it. Well, they say when in doubt, shout to God. There is a house of prayer just around the corner. Why don't we take Melody along and see if God gives us some ideas or shows us a way? Whoa. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Let's go, bro. Come on, Melody. Let's put on a jacket on you and see if our prayers will do the trick. Are the birds or what? No. Places of worship are for everyone. You think there are special gods for each kind? A bird god, a beast god, a man god? No. There is only one god. And his heart and home is open to all. You may look tatty sometimes, Pickaboo, but you sure say some very wise things. Alright. Let's go in and pray for our wee melody here. Singing, 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 singing away. Singing, singing, singing. You can sing along and join in with this song. Singing away. Singing, singing, singing. Singing away, Quiet. 
Bananas. 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 Bananas.